Welcome to Lecture Online, and now let's talk about chords in a circle. There's some other interesting rules that we can use here to make it easier to find angles and lengths and so forth. So here we have two chords running through the circle from one end to the other. Let's say the length from there to where they cross is A, the length from there where they cross to the edge of the circle is B. The same with the second chord, this length is C and that length is D. The rule says that the product of A times B is equal to C times D. So A times B equals C times D. As an example, let's say here that this length is 2, that length is 6, that length is 3, and that length is 4. We can say that 2 times 6 equals 3 times 4, which of course is the case 12 equals 12. Now that can then be used to find uh, X, uh, to find, for, um, that can then be used to solve these types of problems. In each of the three cases, we're supposed to look for X, solve for X. And so we can say that here, we can multiply x times 2, and that should equal 2 times 6. So, in other words, 2x must equal 2 times 6, in other words, x is equal to 6 in this case. Here we can also say that 3 times x, so multiply this distance times x, must equal 1 times 1, or 3x equals 1, or x equals 1 third. And here we can see that the length here is 6 plus 3, which is 9. So this length here together makes 9. So we can say that x times x, x times x is equal to 3 times 9, which means that x squared is equal to 27, and therefore x equals the square root of 27. Of course, 27 can be written as 3 times 9. In other words, this can be written as 3 times the square root of 3 as well. Same thing. So you can see that this is a very handy rule. Whenever two chords cross one another inside a circle, we can say that the product of the lengths of each of the segments of the chord equals the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. Very handy. Remember this rule. You'll use it lots of times. And that's how it's done.